Hi everyone, so where are we? First off, as far as the notes go, starting in chapter two, we're going to go back to my older online notes. They're not as polished as chapter zero or one, but they're more like concise classroom notes. Actually, some students prefer these. Now, as far as the material goes, where are we? Remember that in chapter zero, we focused on mechanics, the algebraic gymnastics. In chapter one, we talked about general function theory and general theory of graphs. Now, in chapters two through four, we're going to look at particular categories of functions. Particular categories of functions. In chapter two, we're going to look at polynomial functions and more generally, rational functions. Back in 0 0.6, we had this Venn diagram for function expressions. So at the center, we have these polynomial function rules, and we're going to focus mostly on these for much of chapter two. But then we're going to talk more, in 2.6 especially, about rational expressions in general. Uh, remember that all polynomial functions are rational functions. For example, we can write this polynomial as this thing over one. The key theme of chapter two is polynomial and rational functions. In fact, by the end of the chapter in 2.7, we're even going to discuss the domains of these radical functions. So we're going to creep into more general algebraic expressions by the end of the chapter. And then later on, in chapter three, we're going to discuss exponential and log functions. Uh, those are called transcendental functions. Uh, they're uh, beyond the algebraic. And in chapter four, we're going to talk about trig and inverse trig functions, our old friends. So again, in chapter two, we're going to focus heavily on these guys, and then these guys, and a little bit of these guys. <laughs> they're domains. Chapter three with this and the log guys, chapter four with these guys. Okay, so let's proceed through this Venn diagram, these various categories of functions. Chapter one all applied.